Hey guys, Bobby here. And in this video, I wanna show you how to combine keyframes and masks in Final Cut 10. So let's jump in. All right, so to learn keyframes and masks today, we are going to be looking at how to make this specific transition. Now, of course, you can use keyframes and masks to do a ton of different things in Final Cut. You can even use keyframes in many ways outside of masks, but we're gonna learn along the way with that transition as a guide. So I have my two clips here. I'm gonna scrub through them real quick. There's that one. This one has multiple takes in it, um, but we are gonna use these two. And one important thing for this transition specifically, and when we're looking at masking something out, is this cactus goes right in the foreground of the camera, of the frame. It covers it completely. And while this edge is not perfect, and I'll get into that in a minute, it is a what we're gonna use as a guideline for that mask. Now, it would be nice if it was just a straight edge of a building or a pole or something like that, but we're gonna make this work um, without too many problems. So I'm gonna drop these um, in my timeline. And this one, we are going to slow down. This was shot high frame rate, and that's gonna help for this. This was also shot high frame rate, so let's slow that down as well. And then we're just gonna cut out what we don't need here. So we wanna start walking, and this can be done pretty loosely. And then we want this to end as soon as the cactus is completely out of frame, because we aren't gonna need that anymore. We'll be completely in the new clip by that point. And we are gonna speed ramp that up. First, let's take care of the speed ramp. This is not required for masking, but if you are doing a transition like this, it can be helpful to make that transition just a little more smooth, a little less time to focus on something. And I do have a video on speed ramping that you can check out if you want, but I'm gonna do that very quickly. I'm gonna say right here, we'll start the speed ramp. And I'm going to make this two times the speed. And then here we're gonna go, I don't know, maybe to there or something. So we're gonna speed ramp out of this clip into this clip just to smooth that all up a little bit. And this one, we're just gonna make it normal speed um, because this one, we don't need it to be super fast or anything like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find the point where the right side of the cactus starts to show on the other side here. So like right here, it's covering the full frame. We don't see the right side of the cactus. Right here, we start to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go one frame back and I'm gonna drag this clip under it so that they match up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go a couple frames forward and then I'm gonna grab my mask here. It's in the mask uh, folder and I like to use the draw mask. There are pre-made shape masks that you can use if that works for your situation. But typically I find myself using the draw mask. So now it wants us to go ahead since we have this selected, it wants us to add a control point. You can add as many control points as you want to draw your mask. And we're gonna be using this edge here of the cactus. And you see the spines here of the cactus. This is why this is not a great, uh, it's gonna look perfectly fine, but it's a little more difficult than like, again, a pole or a straight edge of a building or something like that. Um, we are gonna cut these spines off. So not perfectly ideal. Um, but it's gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start clicking and just grabbing along the edge here. And you can zoom in, of course, if you need to. And this is kind of a, you know, this is not gonna be perfect by any means. So we'll go there. And once we get out of the frame, I'm just gonna come out here, create a corner, create a corner, and click on my first one to connect it. Now you see it starts to show that other frame, but we actually want this the other way. Um, so I'm gonna invert this mask. And one nice thing about this is that our motion here, to help this be even more fluid, our motion here is to the right, and same with this shot. We're moving a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to move this mask completely out so we can find the, uh, the clip where we want it to start. 
And so we're going to start here, the clip right before there, or the frame right before there, and we're going to turn on our keyframes. So make sure this is highlighted. And in the mask here, we are going to turn on two things, and that is going to be the position, so we can drag the mask around, and our control points, because we are going to need to change some of them. So we've turned the keyframes on on both of those. We're going to go back to our timeline here, and we're going to go move one frame forward with our left and right arrow keys. So we're going to hit the right arrow key to move one frame forward. And there we are, and we're going to start to see uh, the right side of that cactus. So we want to drag this over and just match it up around where we had it, something like that. And you're going to hit make sure these keyframes are turned on for both of those. Then you're going to move a frame forward. And this is only a handful of frames, so I would do it frame by frame. If it was going really fast, like a car or something like that, you could do a couple frames at a time if you wanted to, but this isn't too bad. So I'm just gonna drag that over, move a frame, and this is where we start to get, as you can see, we're starting to have our mask not be big enough, so we're gonna drag these over. And that's why it's important to have your control point keyframes turned on as well go another frame and we're going to keep doing this until we cover the entire thing. And we are going to do a couple more things, but let's just keyframe or go frame by frame through this showing you what this looks like. So that looks pretty good as is. Now we are going to make it a little bit smoother. We're going to do that by using the feather and the fall off. And as you can see, what that is going to do is just kind of blend that edge a little bit more. Um, you can play around both directions. Of course, we don't want it this way. Um, but just finding what you want and what works. And again, since we took away those spines and really kind of did alter this, I'm going to add a bit more feather than I probably normally would. Let's go frame by frame again. It just makes it a little bit smoother throughout the whole thing. Watch it in real time. I'm gonna just mark this because that's where I want it to start. And I'm just gonna go a little bit further into this clip so that we get on the slow motion and we start to slow down. Yeah, just like that. And then of course you can add your color and whatever else you wanna do to it. None of this has been graded or even touched. Um, but that is how you're going to use keyframes and masks together. Again, you can get incredibly creative with this and keyframes are going to be useful outside of masks as well. You can use them in a ton of different areas of Final Cut and combined, you can use keyframes and masks to do lots of cool transitions to affect and get rid of things in your frame if you need to and other things like that. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, I'd love to have you like it and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.